Hello, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shirishnath Banerjee. I'm from Tata Cleantech Capital. Um, you may have heard of the company. Uh, for the benefit of those who haven't, uh, this is joint venture between Tata Capital and IFC Washington. Um, we are a intra finance company, and uh, again, intra financing um, is a specific license uh, accorded by RBI, which uh, allows us to fund. Uh, um, at uh, specific terms to intra to companies which can be companies or projects which can be classified under the infrastructure segment. Um, the Tata Group, I guess, needs no introduction. But uh, uh, back in 1868, it was formed by uh, Jamshedji Tata and uh, cuts through industries. We have over 100 companies with group revenue of over 100 crores. A combined market cap of over 130 uh, billion, 100 a billion. Uh, I beg your pardon, and um, employees extensively across uh, the globe. Well, um, again, we have uh, 29 listed entities um, with combined market cap uh, of uh, close to 130 billion dollars, and um, also accorded with the coveted status, I would say, of um, one of the most valuable companies in India. Tata Capital is the financing arm of the group. Um, uh, broadly, our whole asset book size today is close to 60,000 crores. Um, uh, cuts through retail, commercial, and infrastructure loans. And um, as you can see from the slide here, we also have um, a private equity business, investment banking business, and uh, clean tech finance, which is, again, um, uh, something, something which is not uh, you know, very commonly found in banks or financial institutions, we have a entity which is uh, focused on only clean tech financing. Um, as I explained, this company started as a clean tech financier. Uh, we were subsequently awarded the license to go ahead and do other infrastructure. So as of now, we are financing roads, transmission, um, hospitals, any, any, any other projects which fall under the ambit of infrastructure. Uh, broadly, we have uh, four uh, businesses within uh, Tata Cleantech. Credit and underwriting, which is essentially the asset book that I was talking about. Uh, financial advisory. We have a full suite of financial advisory solutions, uh, right from advisory on the buy side, sell side of M&As. We have done a lot of M&As already. I'll be touching upon that uh, subsequently. Uh, we have a Cleantech advisory uh, division with uh, specialist experts uh, from TCE and other esteemed organizations who uh, provide comprehensive advisory solutions to companies which want to start up uh, in the clean tech space or also uh, who, are, who are already there but want to expand. Um, in the syndication side, we uh, get a lot of uh, inquiries for larger ticket loans which we may not be able to uh, write a single check to, for whom we provide a one-stop solution to offer uh, uh, a syndication, a syndicated term sheet with various lenders. Um, you, might, you might have heard about uh, the deteriorating credit quality of uh, banks, asset books, and uh, especially public sector banks. Uh, Tata Cleantech prides itself uh, for the fact that we have no delinquencies, we have no uh, NPAs, and no events of uh, delays uh, also in uh, the book that we have built. Um, having said that, this is a dynamic sector, and we, we do not uh, uh, you know, we cannot see clearly what, what the future holds for us, but as of now, we are very, very uh, strong uh, as our credit rating suggests, and uh, also the fact that uh, we, we are growing very rapidly, uh, and uh, given, given, given the whole uh, um, um, uh, kind of cautiousness that we see in the sector, we are still, we are still one of the few lenders who are um, aggressively wanting to build uh, a book in the renewable energy space, wind, solar, uh, distributor generation, notwithstanding. A little bit about the team here. So we have uh, a very good uh, credit policy in place, which uh, is uh, pretty much a reflection of the strong values that the team brings in, which is, again, um, built from various uh, large infra-finance companies and uh, uh, large uh, banks across, uh, across states here. 
I touched upon financial advisory uh, and M&A. Um, to, to give you a perspective, we are in investment advisory, capital raising, and M&A. And, &A, and uh, we, have, we have done a few works which I would rather like to touch than these slides. Um, so we have recently concluded a 110 megawatt uh, solar M&A assignment where we were advising on the sell side. And right from um, uh, bringing in the investors uh, to term sheet negotiations and closing the deal uh, at its soul, uh, we were there throughout the life cycle and uh, we are very happy with the way uh, the deal uh, transpired and uh, added another happy customer to our list. Uh, we also have a lot of experience in uh, bid advisory. Uh, recently we had uh, concluded a bid advisory for uh, a particular player from uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, who wanted to enter India and uh, wanted specific advisory services from a financial like Tata Cleantech. Clean tech advisory again, um, we'll, we'll probably get to touch upon this more as we interact. Um, the, this is uh, customized for smaller uh, developers who want to start up, who want to, uh, who have ambitions to start a business in this space but do not uh, have the requisite uh, connections probably. Uh, being an IFC company, we are uh, connected to uh, various, various uh, players right from the ecosystem of technical technical uh, companies to financiers to investors, we can help you out uh, there and we'll be very happy to uh, look into what we can do for you. Uh, we also have a specialized SEMS team. Being an IFC company, uh, we have to abide by the EHSS uh, principles of IFC and this team takes care of all the environmental and social uh, responsibilities of the companies uh, to projects that we are financing. Uh, we also offer SEM services to companies which we are not financing. So in case you are looking to uh, perhaps raise private equity money or look at uh, outside investments, we'll be very happy to uh, help you with the SEM's uh, due diligence. This is a brief snapshot of uh, the way Tata Cleantech has grown over the last four years. Um, you'll see CAGRs of uh, probably double or even triple digit figures here. and. Uh, we expect to go uh, much higher from here. I do not want to touch upon the industry uh, um, information too much, but broadly, uh, we are aligned to the um, targets given to the nation. Um, as, of, as we speak, I think solar has um, increased to about 16 uh, gigawatt and not 12 anymore. And uh, we, we, are, we, are, we are right up there to help you uh, reach your targets. Um, before I... Uh, close in. I also had a couple of slides on Maharashtra specifically, but probably we'll discuss that in the panel. I wanted to make a small announcement. Uh, if you have heard of the SBI World Bank line or the PNB ADB line, I'm very happy to also inform you that Tata Cleantech is in advanced stages uh, of talks with a global fund uh, and we'll soon be having a line of our own, which can be used by all of you for uh, rooftop projects and uh, Please let us know. Uh, this line should be active in a month or two months' time, and uh, we'll, you, you'll, you'll probably get uh, rates as competitive as the other lines and uh, terms, uh, you know, you know, the best, the best possible terms that we can offer. Right? Thank you so much for your time. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen.